for people who've who may have gotten into situations where shit's a bit crazy we are not supposed to ask life what is the meaning of life life is asking us what is the meaning of us that sounds strange but i'm going to try and explain my understanding of it so life is saying what is the meaning of steve what is the meaning of emily what is the meaning of sandra what does sandra do when she wins a lottery how does she how does she use that resource what does steve do when he loses his firstborn child <laughs> as i take a sip of this i know some of you are thinking what is he drinking what is he on right now <clears throat> Right, so <laughs> this is going to be pretty heavy stuff for a sunny Sunday afternoon, but I think it might be helpful for someone. So this book, this is the account of a prisoner of war, an Auschwitz prisoner from World War II, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, has been widely recommended to me. It took me a while to actually get it and read through it because... I'll read the synopsis and see that that it's an Auschwitz prisoner's life story and from that you know it's going to be heavy reading already but it's kind of you kind of feel like you know the story you know they went through some horrible stuff they were tortured gas chambers and whatnot um, but something that I found in this book that I think distinguishes it from a lot of other books that are quite similar to it. I think it answers one of life's biggest philosophical questions, which is, what is the meaning of life? A question I don't think we've ever had uh, a distinct answer to. You know, we've kind of got there with strive to be your best sort of thing. but from Viktor Frankl's book and there's some horrible stuff in there he's talking about essentially being put in a life situation where ending it all seems like the best option and so you've got to think about how bad life's got to be for that to be the best option and it was the best option for many people around him but he had a different perspective and his perspective was that we are not supposed to ask life what is the meaning of life. Life is asking us what is the meaning of us. That sounds strange, but I'm going to try and explain my understanding of it. So, and so, sorry about the pause, just trying to get my thoughts together properly. So, <clears throat> for people who've, who may have gotten into situations where shit's a bit crazy they can't um they can't see the positive outcome of a situation you think specifically about people who suffer a lot for whatever reason you know they're going to be thinking what is the point of it all and they have nothing more to expect of life but what victor's book essentially says is that life still expects of us we've got it all wrong we're not ex we're not supposed to expect of life life is expecting of us and it's if we really pay attention it's clear that that's the case because even even the fact that none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow should tell us if we stop and think about that that life is asking questions of us each day presenting us with new situations no one knows what's going to happen when you turn that corner but life's going to ask a question of you and you're going to have to react to it in whatever way so you know rather than steve asking what's the meaning of life life is asking what's the meaning of steve or emily or whatever insert name here you know what's the meaning of steve how does steve react when he wins a lottery how does steve react when he loses his youngest child 
life is asking them what is the meaning of you yeah i'm just trying to make, trying to make sure i've got that right so <laughs> as i take a sip of this i know some of you are thinking what is he drinking what is he on right now <clears throat> but okay so back to it so yeah life's asking the questions of us and he's he he talks about friends that he was surrounded by in the auschwitz uh prison camps where they were forced to work until their hands were numb and i'm going to leave out the i'm going to leave out the details for anyone who wants to read it but just take my word for it horrible stuff and people who just decided that life has nothing more to offer them and decided to just end it all his perspective was quite different which was that and he mentions this in the book is that we're not supposed to ask the question what is the meaning of life we've got that completely wrong what he says is that life is asking the question of us and i thought about that and thought of course that has to be the case because because if that weren't the case there would be a distinct answer to what is the meaning of life but it's impossible for that answer to exist because that answer can't be the same for everyone everyone has a different experience so there can't be an answer to that question and i think that's why we haven't got an answer to that question yet and therefore the question is a flawed question we're not supposed to ask a question life is asking the question of us in our own little different ways and that is that was i think what victor was trying to tell us in his book in his search for meaning that was the meaning that he found which is that whatever you're going through life is asking questions of you good times bad times life's asking how are you going to react how are you going to take it how are you going to deal with it i think that's it I think that's that's all I wanted to say on that. If you've read this book, let me know. If you're planning on reading the book after this pretty morbid Sunday afternoon account of it, let me know. Um, whether it's down in the comment section or in the DMs, whatever. Uh, happy to chat about it. Any further thoughts? If you disagree, if you think I've missed something, be happy to hear that too i think that's about it until next time <laughs>